Good morning! Welcome to my second channel. Hi guys. So I have some Chipotle left over from last night. My friend brought some Chipotle over for us and we watched The Bachelorette. And we ate it, but I still have leftovers. I usually always have leftovers when I get Chipotle. I can never finish the whole bowl. But this is all that I have left. It's a lot. And then I also got dragon sauce, which they were out of the chips. But I was eating them with regular tortilla chips, as you can see there's some in here. It actually kind of tasted exactly like Chipotle chips, so I wasn't too sad about that. Because sometimes Chipotle chips are hit or miss, you know? Like, I feel like sometimes they are just extremely salty. And then sometimes... They're like greasy and chewy. Mmm, yum, I'm so excited. Let me grab some toasty. So these are the chips I was using. They're all like crushed up though. I ate a lot of them yesterday. They're just like the scoops, no longer scoops. The chips at the bottom of the bag are always so crushed up. But when you eat it with the dragon sauce, mmm, thank you, honestly, Spicy bite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whew. When you eat it with these chips, it tastes like Chipotle chips with the dragon sauce. That's what I'm trying to say. And the dragon sauce is the hot salsa and sour cream together. It's free. We love that. Mmm. I have a lot of stuff I need to eat up. And of course I saved my fork from yesterday. You gotta use the Chipotle fork. You have to. It is a must. Must, must, must. Mmm, tasty. Should I add some more cheese on top? Maybe. Maybe I should. Maybe I don't have any actually. Maybe, can I stop saying maybe? <laughs> maybe this. So I have this I need to eat up, which I'm super excited for. I'm gonna have it for dinner. It's like a big stromboli with just meat and cheese inside. It is so good. I'm gonna dip it in marinara sauce. So I'm gonna put this in the oven later. And then I also have a ton of extra butter chicken that I made on my main channel. So I saved some rice and a lot of chicken. And I also have another container of it and some extra garlic naan. So I am like set on leftovers. Set on leftovers. How is it still not steaming? Chipotle always warms up so good. So this is actually my first time having Chipotle in over a year. I never usually get Chipotle. And it's so good. I kept getting it with meat. And I think that's why I didn't really like it. Because I used to never get it with meat. And then I started getting meat so I could get like my protein in. And then I wasn't liking it. It makes the whole bowl taste like meat. I don't know. <gasps> Let me pick that up. No, 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 no. Don't you dare, good girl. How about we sit down? How about we sit down? I was opening Amazon packages. I'm redoing my bathroom, my guest bathroom. And I ordered a paint to paint the countertop because I really hate the countertop. It's like a temporary fix. Um, and that bathroom doesn't get used a ton. I do my hair in there and stuff, but it doesn't get used a ton, so I'm not worried about it chipping and looking bad. And even if so, it's okay. Like the paint was like 30 bucks. Which I'm gonna do a video when I fix it. I wanna paint the room and then I wanna paint the countertop. I got new faucets, new uh, like towel hangers, toilet paper hangers, all of that to be all matte black. And then I got a little toilet bowl cleaner that's like a matte black, really cute. A new light fixture.
all that good stuff. So I'm gonna redo it and I'm really excited and I will vlog it, so. But yeah, this is good. I feel like now that I had Chipotle again, I'm gonna be craving it like all the time. Mmm. They look really pale. I tried to quit tanning beds. I would usually go ah, really cold. I usually never put ice in my water. So whenever I'd go to the gym, you get free tanning. So I would go sometimes and I used to go like when I was like 16 too because I had bad acne and I felt like it helped with my acne. But I'm trying to not really go anymore and I haven't gone in like months. But I'm really pale. But I do like laying outside a lot too. It's just been super hot. I'm like insanely hot. And humid. I woke up today and my power was out. I have no idea why. It came back on, but it was off for a while and it was just so hot. It was like 74 degrees in here. So I'm getting my hair done this week. I'm really excited. My hair is finally like growing. I know the ends are super thin. My hair is thin. It's super thin. Like this is all my hair right here. And the ends actually aren't even that bad. They're just super thin. Like when I look at them, I got my hair done two months ago, so it hasn't even been that long. But I'm gonna go back in and get my hair trimmed because you should go like every two months. But my hairdresser that I was going to before this last one, I'm going to who my mom goes to now for a haircut or a trim. It was like $65. So I was leaving spending almost 300 if I got color. That is a lot. And my new hairdresser, I got my hair cut. I got a gloss and a trim. And it was like 120 or something. And she said, like, if you're getting a trim, it takes two seconds to cut it. She's like, I would feel so guilty charging someone like more than 20 bucks to do that. So she's just a very genuinely nice person. And I love that. Cause yeah, trim takes like two seconds. Especially if you're not getting like a full haircut with like layers and everything. So I'm gonna just get a trim. Last time she trimmed it or cut it, I was like, leave some of the dead ends. Like, I wanna let my hair grow long. And every time my hair just cut off all my split ends, my hair just stays short and it never grows longer. So I'm like, I'm okay with there being a little bit of dead ends. Like when I style my hair, you can't really tell. Like when I put oils and hairspray and curl it, this and that, you can't really tell. So when I style it, you can't really tell. So, I think I might get color touched up too. Maybe add some darker pieces in with the bottom since it's kind of like all turned ombre a little bit. So I might get some darker like low and highlights. Cause I really like the pieces like being blonde up in the front. Look at these chips. I wish I had big chips. But yeah, I'm glad we got Chipotle. She was coming over after the gym and she usually gets, she said, Chipotle, Five Guys, or Chick-fil-A after the gym. So I was like, okay, out of those, I think I want Chipotle. Or Five Guys. Chick-fil-A I don't eat too often. And it is so good. Like whenever I eat it, 
it is really good like the waffle fries yeah i don't know i'm never one to get chipotle chipotle i don't know what it is with me calling chick-fil-a chipotle but i always do that in my chick-fil-a mukbangs i'm always like this chipotle is so good <laughs> Ooh, my nose is running from that being spicy. The dragon sauce is a must. So good. Might not be too good on my stomach though. So my parents are coming over later. My dad's hanging up my TV. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna give them my leftover Indian food. One of the containers. That kind of sounds good right now too. I just have so many leftovers, I need to eat it all. It is hot. Let's see what the temperature is outside. 86 degrees full sun. What's the UV? A nine. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll go out there and take my laptop. Oh, it's gonna like overheat, but it would work for like 20 minutes. I have some videos I need to edit. Some emails. I also need to mail out a check for my fence. Here she's getting a fence. I'm so excited because I have to go out there with her with the leash every time. So with the fence, she'll be able to just run around all happy. Because when I take her to my parents' house, they have a fence and she is like having the time of her life out there like she does laps and it's like so cute she loves the freedom so i'm really excited to get her a fence and it was supposed to be late september but i guess they had a cancellation so now they're getting me in in august Look at who's standing there. We're getting a fence. <laughs> We're getting a fence, buddy. Yeah, and you can run around and play with Cookie. She'll be coming over later. Cookie's coming over later. She loves Cookie. Ooh, spicy. So my brother has been in New York for a whole month. He works remote ever since uh, the pandemic. And you get the option, is that a hair? There is a hair in here. It's a fuzz from the blanket, because I was eating this last night on the couch. I can tell it's a blanket fuzz, because it's like all, I think I ate one. So he was in New York. Oh. So he was in New York for a month and he gets back tomorrow. Him and friends just went there to experience it and see what it's like because they all work remote. I'm like, that is so much fun. So I'm excited to hear about it. We're all going to dinner for my birthday in a few days. So excited to hear about New York because I like New York. I really do. And I kept wanting to visit him. Their Airbnb was quite small though. Like there wouldn't have really been room for me. But. It looked like so much fun. 
Wait, let me tell you guys what I have in my bowl. I didn't even tell you. Okay. Extra white rice, pinto beans, tomatoes, corn, lettuce, cheese, sour cream. I think that's it. Rice, beans, pico, corn. Yeah, lettuce, sour cream. I basically get everything, minus the meat. And I don't get the hot sauce because I get it on the side. I don't get the queso. Their queso isn't my favorite. Except I think they changed it. And people like it now. But. Yeah, not my favorite. Plus I get sour cream, so it's like, it's already pretty pretty wet. I'm full. I'm gonna go sit outside with the Hirsch Hirsch. And I'm actually like freezing now because when I eat spicy food, it gives me the chills. I don't know why. Can you guys see my chills? No, this camera does not focus too well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next. Bye guys.